Hello and welcome to Draytech Australia and New Zealand. Central VPN Management, also known as CVM, is a feature built into Draytech routers. It is used to configure and monitor VPN connections between the central router and branch routers. In this video, I will show you the configuration process to set up central VPN management in the Draytech Vega 3900 and then use it to create and manage VPN tunnels in branch routers. Here we have the network topology that we will be using for the configuration. The Vega 3900 is the CVM server and will establish VPN tunnels to each of the CPE routers. The first step is to configure the Vega 3900 router as the central VPN management router. To do this, log into the router and go into central management, then VPN and general setup. In the general setup, we select enable, select the WAN interface that will be used. We will use WAN 1 here. Enter the required HTTP and HTTPS uh, port numbers between 0 to 65535. Uh, we will use the default values here, which are HTTP port 8080 and HTTPS port 8443. Now enter a username and password. The username and password must be the same as the settings on the CPE devices. We will set the username to ACS and use the password uh, password. Enable polling status and the polling interval, um, leave at 60. Click apply and save the settings. Now click on the VPN General Setup tab. Select the required WAN for the WAN profile. Enter the router local IP and subnet. Select the IPsec security method and IKE phase one mode. Click apply to save the settings. The next step is to allow access to router management. Go to system maintenance and access control under Internet Access Control, select the required WAN interface and also enable TR069 Allow as well as other required settings. Click Apply to save the settings. We now need to configure TR069 in the CPE devices. We will use the router Vega 2926A. The first step here is to enable remote management in the router. To do this, go to System Maintenance and Management menu. S select Allow Management from the Internet. Select TR069 Server. You can also select other required management options. Then click OK to save. The router will restart to save the settings. After the router has restarted, go to System Maintenance TR069 setting menu. Select the ACS and the CPE settings tab. Enable TR069 and select ACS server on internet. Then click on the wizard button for ACS server URL. In the pop-up menu, enter the following settings. Uh, select HTTP. For server, enter WAN IP address for the Vega 3900. Enter 8080 for the port. Note that this setting has to match that uh, we set up in the Vega 3900. Leave handler at the default setting and click OK to save. This will then create a URL string for the ACS server. Next, enter username ACS and enter the password. This has to match the settings made in the Vega 3900. Now select HTTP for CPE client. You will notice that the router will automatically fill in the URL details. Leave the TR069 port and username at default values. Um, note that this setting must match the settings on the CVM server. Select enable for periodic inform and set the interval time. Leave other settings at the default values. If the router is behind another firewall or NAT, you can enable these stun settings. Now click OK to save the settings. Once the settings are saved, click on Test with Inform button. 
You will see the green icon appear, indicating that communication has been established with the CVM server. Other CP devices are configured in a similar way. Once the CP devices are communicating with the CVM router, all their devices will appear in the Manage Devices status page. The green tick below the CPE shows that it is online. Selecting a CPE and clicking on Edit allows the name and location to be entered. We are now ready to create VPN tunnels from the CVM router to the CPE devices. Go to Central Management, VPN, CPE Management menu. Select the VPN Management tab on this page. Select a CPE. Click on a VPN type. Uh, here we will be using uh, IPsec. Click OK when being asked about uh, to establish the VPN tunnel. The VPN tunnels will take a few seconds to be automatically configured and brought online. Once the VPN tunnels are established, they will be listed on the Connected Devices section on this page as shown here. Other tasks that can be carried out in CVM are backup and restore configurations, as well as firmware upgrades. In the CPE Maintenance menu, click on Add in the Maintenance section. Now select the required device and the action to perform, as well as the scheduled time and date for this action. Thank you for watching. For more information, please go to our website www.draytech.com.au or you can send an email to sales at draytech.com.au.